In this video, we will begin taking an introductory look at polynomials. As we do, we will first lay the vocabulary needed to know about polynomials. The first is a term, which is either a number, such as negative 3, a variable, such as a, x, a or x, or a product, of numbers and variables. Such as negative 2, x squared, y. Based on the number of terms in an expression, we can name the polynomials. A monomial, the prefix mono, means one, one term. For example, 3a squared b, cubed is a monomial. Binomial, prefix bi meaning two, has two terms. An example of a binomial would be something like a squared minus b squared. Notice the two terms are separated by a subtraction. Addition and subtraction is what separates individual terms. A trinomial, the prefix tri meaning three, has three terms. An example of a trinomial would be ax squared plus bx plus c. After trinomial, we group them all together into a polynomial, which means something with many terms. In practice, we often call monomials, binomials, and trinomials polynomials as well. An example of a polynomial would be ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus exy plus f. Notice the many terms are separated by addition and subtraction. Let's take a look at some polynomials and how we can evaluate them when we know the value of our variables. In this expression, we know that x is equal to negative 2. This means we will replace each x with a negative 2. 5 times x, or negative 2 squared, minus 2 times negative 2, plus 6. Now, using order of operations, we can simplify the expression, doing the exponent first. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, minus 2 times negative 2, plus 6. Next, we multiply, and as the terms are separate terms, we can do the multiplication at once. 5 times 4 is 20, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, plus 6. Finally, we can add the expression from left to right, 20 plus 4 plus 6, to get 30. This polynomial equals 30 when x is negative 2. Let's try one more example, where we evaluate a polynomial when we know the value of the variable. In this expression, we know the variable x is equal to 4. This means we will replace each of the x's with a 4, giving us negative 4 squared plus 2 times 4 minus 7. Notice as I make a substitution, the number always goes in parentheses. This way, I know when I'm squaring, does the negative come with or not the exponents. In this case, the exponent is only on the 4, so that will be always square, giving us negative 4 squared, or 16, plus 2 times 4, minus 7. Multiplying would be our next step, giving us negative 16, plus 8, minus 7. Finally, Order of operations allows us to do the addition and subtraction. 16 plus 8 minus 7 is negative 15. By taking the known value and plugging it in for our variables, we can evaluate these polynomials at a given value. 